Hey guys, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and I'm going to share with you how I create this kind of video for myself as well as for my clients, and I'll tell you about the platform and app that I use to do that. So first things first, I use Adobe Premiere in order to edit all of my videos. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to come in and create a new sequence for my social media video. I'm using a template for my Instagram format. It's a preset where I have formatted it out to the one by one ratio. And so I don't have to come in and recreate this each time. So that's what I've done here. Next, I'm going to open up the sequence for the existing video that I have already edited previously for YouTube. And the next thing that I'm going to need to do is basically copy all of this footage and audio and everything onto my sequence for my social media video. So once I've done that, and before I do that, I'm actually going to edit the uh, clean it up a little bit. I'm editing the beginning of it out first before I do anything else. And then I'm copying everything over to my Instagram preset. And then I am going to separate the audio from the video so that I can insert a background because I want to keep the aspect ratio of the video at 16 by 9 so that it appears in a landscape format, but it's still going to be in an overall one by one Instagram or social media format. So I've inserted a pre-existing background um, onto my sequence so that all I now need, now need to do is reformat my footage so that it fits snugly into that and I'll be able to add text on the top and then have my closed captioning or subtitles on the bottom. So right now I'm just going to copy all of the attributes of the formatting that I've done and add that to all of the sequences at one time and get that all cleaned up and ready to go. So now I'm going to just add in whatever additional things that I need. I just did in my lower third. I'm cleaning up the end of it so that it uh, fades out the way that I want. And now I'm going to separate this into two separate videos. I might be able to do it into more, but I'm just going to do it into two. And then I'm now going to add in some pre-existing call to actions that I will put at the end of each of the videos. and they all look like they play properly. Now the next step is to prepare for exporting or saving it and putting it onto my computer. So I'm going to export both at the same time instead of doing it individually. And then I'm going to save each on my computer. So they're exporting right now. And when this is done, they'll both be saved to my computer. And essentially this process is just, it's basically taking everything that I've told it to do in the platform of Premiere. And it's now actually doing that to my footage. So now we're finished. As you can see, it has two check marks. So that means it's completed. And you can see that it's now saved onto my computer. So the next phase now is to work with Capwing and I use Capwing in order to subtitle and in order to create the meme like look for my video. So you can see um, what it looks like here. So the first thing that I need to do is upload those videos that I just uh, edited onto the platform. So I'm going to just drag and drop them here so that both can be uploaded at the same time. And now that they are finished, I'm ready to edit. So I can just go onto the three dots, click on edit, and it opens up this window. And then I'm gonna click on edit again. And now the first thing I'm going to do is do my subtitles. 
And I can do subtitles three ways. I can either add the subtitles manually, auto-generate, which is in beta, or I can upload an SRT that I've already previously created, however I've created that. So I click on the file. And within moments, it automatically comes in to the program. So the next thing I want to do is if I want to change the font or the size or the positioning or the background, I can do that. The next thing I do is I make sure that everything is accurate. There's no misspellings. There's no mistakes. I just want it to make sure it looks good on the screen. So I'll quickly go through that. Then I click on done. And now it's time to make the meme maker or instigate the meme maker. So here I'm putting the title of the video. And then if I want to put any images, you can go in and search for any images that might actually help you or emojis. And in this example, I'm going to do two fist bumps of emojis, and I'm going to put them on either side of the text that says impact of video. And then I'll try to position those so that they look um, as accurate as they can. And Again, with the fonts here, you can change the font. You can change whether it has it's bold or anything. If you want to put um, any sort of a, if you want to insert a progress bar, you can certainly do that. This video is too long, so I've opted not to add my uh, progress bar and then I'm finished and it renders out when you're finished it comes back and it almost looks like it looked the first time but I'm going to scroll down so you can see obviously it has the subtitling so then you can just download it onto your computer so once you've downloaded it and you title it what you need to do from here you can do whatever you need to do with it you can um, save it onto your computer, obviously, and then from here you can upload it to social media um, or you can actually share it from uh, Capwing to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or you can get a copy of the link or you can actually get an embed code so that you can embed it on your website. So since I put a copy of it, um, or actually I, I want to use this on social media, I'm also going to incorporate using the Capwing app for my iOS device. So I'm going to log in to Capwing the same way that I do on, on the desktop. And then you can see in your workspace all of the documents or all of the videos that you've worked on. So I'm just going to click on one of them that I want to use. And so this one, I want to save it to my camera roll and I want to save it to my camera roll so I will be able to share it on social media. So all I have to do is click save to camera roll and it is doing that. It's then going to pop up and let me know that it's actually saved to my camera roll and I can then click on OK. And then from there, once I'm done, I can actually scroll straight across over to whatever social media platform I want to place this video in. So in this example, I'm going to use Facebook and I'm just going to go to my camera roll. I click on the video that I want to upload and then I need to place some sort of text in there if I want to say something about this video. And just so that this does not um, get seen by everyone because it's just a test, I'm going to change this to just only me. And then I am ready to post. So it takes some time to go through all of that. And then there you go. You can see that the video has posted to my social media platform. So if you are interested in Capwing, Capwing does a number of things. It does more than just create memes and subtitles. It is a video editor as well. And these are all of the different tools that come within Capwing from meme maker to adding audio to resizing to trimming to creating gifs gifs whatever you want to pronounce them to creating loop videos whatever it is that you could need pretty much capwing has you covered for those of you that are interested in the price it is free if you are publishing up to videos up to seven minutes long 
Um, they don't have watermarks. There is a file upload limit. However, if you want to have more access, then you can pay $20 a month and then be able to download SRTs and make your videos private and things of that nature. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And if there's any platform that you would like to see me walk you through or do a tutorial for, feel free to also let me know in the comments below. Thanks and I'll see you next time.